my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we are on the first Sunday of the Advent season, and with it we begin a new liturgical year. The readings of the Sunday prepare us to get ready to receive Jesus at Christmas by staying awake and by being watchful. Let us reflect its message for us. The first reading is taken from Isaiah 63 verses 16 to 64, uh, 64 7. As we all know, Isaiah is divided into three parts. The first Isaiah who prophesied before the exile to Babylon, the second Isaiah during the exile, and the third Isaiah after the people returned from the exile. And today's reading, 63 to 64, 7, is taken from third Isaiah after the people's return from the exile. Here, the people realize that God is their Father, their Redeemer, who redeems them from the bondage of slavery. The concept of redemption reminds us of the Jewish practice in which a father or a close relative has the obligation to redeem an Israelite who has become a slave to a foreigner because of poverty. So this is used over in order to show that God is a father who is close to us and who redeems the people of Israel from their bondage. However, after the return from the exile, things were not as good as they thought. They had to face lots of problems in building the temple again. Therefore, Prophet Isaiah is asking God that since he is the Redeemer, there is nothing which he can't do. Therefore, why do you make our hearts hard? Why are we not able to follow you? Since you are our Redeemer, you do something, you act, so that our hearts will become once again soft and we will be able to follow your ways and decrees and not worship other gods. This was the longing of the people of Israel in trouble. This longing is in a way fulfilled in Jesus as this second reading will tell us. In the second reading taken from 1 Corinthians 1, 3 to 9, St. Paul appreciates the Corinthian community and he thanks and prays God whenever he thinks of them because they received faith in Jesus and they followed the ways of the Lord and were filled with abundant spiritual blessings. So the joy which Prophet Isaiah in the first reading is longing for, for the people of Israel, is being fulfilled by Jesus to the Christian community of Corinth. So the message is that since our Redeemer has come, who can fulfill everything, who can give us all the spiritual blessings, it's our duty to stay awake and wait for Him. And Mark 13, 33 to 37 tells us that we must keep awake like the watchman who keeps vigil at night to guard the city. In olden days, the duty of the guard at night is important. It's a duty which he must fulfill because 
the life of the city or the safety of the people in the city depends on the God. So the God has to stay awake the whole night for the safety of others. And his duty is of utmost importance. Secondly, at night, the God is not able to see things around. Therefore, he can't just use his sight alone. He must also use his ears and all his senses in order to see the approach of the enemy. By using this metaphor, the Gospel writer Mark wants to tell us the need for us to keep awake and guard in order to receive Jesus, our Redeemer. Jesus comes at every Christmas. However, the experience of the joy of salvation at Christmas will depend on the intensity of our being watchful and being awake. Let us pray for one another so that we may truly use these four weeks of Advent season to be alert, to remain awake, and to watch for the Lord so that we can experience Him, especially at this Christmas. Let us pray for one another for this intention today. God bless.